welcome back to BBC. Last time we met each of our dashing contestants. Jane Bennett is the eldest Bennett sister. She's very pretty and kind of boring, but all in all, a perfect child. Then we have Elizabeth Bennett, the second eldest sister. Loves aimlessly walking and watch out that she doesn't mind getting a little muddy or diving into a good book. Mary Bennett is the middle child, and you know what they say about middle children. Well, <laughs> it's all true. What? I'm the middle child. I'm chased off, Nigel. Shut up, Harry. Lydia Bennett loves boys, and that's literally her whole bloody personality. And that's all the Bennett sisters. Wait a minute, Nigel. We forgot Kitty Bennett. Oh. <laughs> oh. Uh, nobody cares about her. Kitty Bennett. She's just kind of there. That sounds like a rubbish film. Now, Mr. and Mrs. Bennett. He loves teasing his wife constantly, and all Mrs. Bennett cares about is her status. Mr. Darcy is a handsome young bachelor who comes from old money. He follows social rules without question, and although he's a little rude, he'll fall in love with this stiff, <laughs> dreamy, pensive-looking hunk of a man anyways. <laughs> Mr. Bingley's like an annoying puppy. High on who knows what. Life, potentially. Most importantly, he's chock-a-block with money. Mr. Wickham is a dishy young bloke who was a catch for all those single ladies. What else does one need? Perhaps a scrumptiously deceiving personality. Lady Catherine de Bourgh is a dodgy old lady whose face strangely resembles a smushed, wrinkly prune like the one in the back of my refrigerator. But besides her peculiar stench and beady eyes, this wretched lady is loaded with old money and has plans to marry her nephew, Darcy, to her daughter. Mr. Collins, a boring, pompous clergyman who has the nerve to marry a woman because it is his obligation. But a woman's rights are not to be taken lightly. Charlotte Lucas is really, really desperate. Literally will marry anyone. Also, best friends with Elizabeth. So now that we've caught you up with our contestants, let's recall the events that transpired here on BBC last week. We started off with Mr Bingley coming to Netherfield and being introduced to Jane, who, if I do say so myself, was quite taken with him. Most of our contestants met at a dance where Elizabeth meets Darcy for the first time and made quite a good impression by insulting her, calling her, if I remember correctly, tolerable. What a pompous ass! He really botched that one up. He sure did, Nigel. Mr. Bingley then invited Jane over to his mansion and Jane's crazy mother made her ride a horse so she could get stuck in the rain and have to stay the night. Wow, how intriguing. What a devious little lady. Mr. Collins then came to town and wanted to propose to Jane, but eventually proposed to Elizabeth. He's kind of gross, so she turned him down, completely disappointing her entire family. So Mr. Collins went to the next girl he can find, Charlotte Lucas, and proposed to her. Surprise, surprise, she said yes, and it's not like she's been waiting 27 years. All of a sudden, some hot new gossip came into town about a certain Mr. Wickham. Mm -hmm. Soon after, <laughs> Mr. Wickham came to town and seemed like quite the dashing bloke. Elizabeth seemed to be quite taken with him and he with her. Then Mr. Bingley headed on over to London for the entire bloody summer because he's basically a multi-millionaire and I guess that's what rich people do. Jane was sad, but he was gone. Then, she went to London too to visit family so she could see him, but he avoided her the entire time. Turns out, Mr. Darcy was trying to keep them away from each other because they have different social classes. Bummer. Just remember, it's never okay to force your own outdated opinions on other people's lives. Elizabeth was angry with Darcy for this because how dare he judge her family and her sister to be unworthy of <laughs> Mr. Bingley. But then, Mr. Darcy proposed to Elizabeth. She quickly turned him down in a rage because she remembered what Wickham told her about him and how he split up Jane and Bingley. But after ripping his heart out, Darcy wrote a letter telling her about how he didn't realize how much Bingley loved Jane and that he was wrong to break them up, blah, blah, blah. 
but he also tells her the truth about Wickham. He tried <laughs> to elope with Mr. Darcy's sister, Georgiana, to get her money. What? <laughs> so then she was really confused about her feelings towards Darcy. Over the summer, Elizabeth goes on a trip with her aunt and uncle, and they tour Darcy's beautiful house. Elizabeth only agreed to go because she thought he wouldn't be there. But of course, he shows up. But he's a perfect gentleman, and her feelings are even more confusing now. Elizabeth then finds out that Lydia ran away with Wickham. And you know what that means. <laughs> we should do, Nigel. <laughs> Quite a bit of dodgy business, if I do say so myself. So, to avoid being a complete disappointment and social pariah, they got married, which seems to have worked out all right. But then the plot twist... She finds out that Darcy was the one who helped find Lydia and Wickham and convinced them to marry, essentially preventing her entire family's reputation from being crushed into a sad book. So her feelings are very confusing. She also went to visit Mr. Collins, who, by the way, is obsessed with a certain Lady Catherine de Bourgh, who is kind of mean and self-absorbed. Then Bingley proposed to Jane and she said yes and then Darcy proposed to Elizabeth again except this time she said yes and they all got married on the same day. Mrs. Bennet was happy that her daughters were finally getting married because that is the only thing that matters in their life. Hooray for the patriarchy. Oh, except Mary. Mary never got married because she was the ugly one. And that's what you missed on the last episode of Baby C. In this episode, will Elizabeth and Darcy remain happily married despite their differing social classes? Will Lydia ever be able to live down her elopement with Mr. Wickham? Keep watching to find out.